sponsored by Creed and Creed, your local injury attorneys, American Direct Auto in Winsboro, and Gordon McKernan, injury attorneys. Get it done. Welcome to another edition of Football Friday Night Extra right here on Fox 14. I'm Chris Immersion. This is our Beast of the Week. Oh, yes. Well, I mean, you have the Beast of the Week here. I mean, well, you, you give out the Beast of the Week. Yeah, I'm just going to give out the award. <laughs> you give out the award the beast. beast of the Week. <laughs> Jesse Davis with us right here in Fox 14. A full 30 minutes of high school football highlights. I kind of like miss that banging rock music underneath all the highlights. I do. Like the slipknot, like, like five-finger death punch or something <laughs> like that. Whatever it is, I like it. Speaking of the highlights, let's get right to them. Our first game, U High and Neville, the Cubs come to Bill Ruppel Stadium winners of 27 in a row, but they're down 21 nothing at the half. UI's Tanner Lawson takes a snap, soon sacked by Neville's Ben Crawford. Ensuing Tigers drive, quarterback Andrew Brister gets the ball. However, it's lost, and the visitors recover. Dag nabbit. Next comes drive. Lawson has it, throws this in the air, but is picked off by none other than Charles. Strotter Jr., of course, Jesse, his brother, a big-time player for ULM. And suing Neville possession, Brister steps back. His pass is intercepted by UHI's Trevor Evans. He's looking to take this back to the house. Will he? Nah, knocked out of the one-yard line. But very next play, check this out. Lawson hands this off to his running back. However, it's fumbled and recovered by Neville's Tyke Reese. Brister and company now at the minus 30. This is handed off to Javon Carter, and he is off to the races. Eventually knocked down right past the logo in midfield. Later in the drive, Brister gives this to Frank Colvin, and he is in there like swimwear. Home team goes up in the front 28 to nothing. Neville wins 28 to nothing. Snaps a 27-game win streak for U High. Oh man, taking this thing over to Shreveport. West Monroe versus Bird. Bird could not get anything going, so they're gonna put this bad baby off. And oh, he could not get control of the ball. And Bird is actually going to recover this thing. And it was blown right there. So next zoom position, West Monroe is gonna pick it up and he's gonna move and wiggle his way up the middle. And what do you know? You can kiss him goodbye. What are we looking about? 70, 73 yards? Something like that. Yeah. Man, anyway, oh, 96 yards on a touchdown oh. run. So West Monroe out to a 14-0 lead. Then just before the half. Rebels looking to add that lead, but the lame little pass is picked off by Chris. It was 14-0 at the half. West Monroe. So Bird is yet to score this season, falling tonight 24 to nothing. Of course, West Monroe, big winner 24 to nothing over in Shreveport. OCS Sterling's in the big battle for 165. Panthers winners of the last two. First play of the game, Sterling's Hayes Crockett throws this in the air, but picked off by OCS's Eli Eckstein. Rolls this back all the way to the 34 yard line. Ensuing OCS drive at his fourth and short last chance. Jaden Davis for Sterling and comes through, forces a turnover on down. Flexes for the gram. Connects throws the drive. Crockett gives Dallas Rager. Goes to the nine. That's where he's knocked down. A few plays later, they're at the one. Crockett pulls a camera guy. That big idiot wasn't me. It was probably Jesse. Goes in for the score. Panthers lead seven to nothing. A few plays later. Sterling's in the midfield. Rager brought down. But what's this? A face mask is called. Tack on 15 more yards. Sterling has first and goal. Crockett hands it over to Jordan Townsend. He's in for the score to make it 14-0. Sterling's in wins 40-19. Oh, man, was not expecting that one. All right, and we're going to take this thing over to Washington versus Richwood. We're down at the woodshed. Quarterback hands this off to Lewis, who runs up the middle, and he will not be taken down easily. Down to the very one, very next play. Lewis, he's going to walk this in. Touchdown, Washington. Is going to win this one easy, 62 to zero. Wow! Rusted in Indiana in Laffy Land, Lafayette. What a game down there! Last year was a hail mary to end this baby for the Rams. They got the win last year, but tonight a second half push by the Rust and Bearcats made this one interesting. But Acadiana able to hold off that push. Dylan Monette went down with an injury, but Lucky Brooks picked up the slack. Rams defeat Rustin 28 to 20. All righty, West Washington 
and Jones very hard. Man, this right here was a great game. West Washington quarterback is going to throw to his senior number 42, who's going to dive right into the end zone. They're going to get this thing started off early with an early 7 to 0. All righty, next possession, West Washington quarterback senior. He's going to throw it to his sophomore number 28, and you can say bye. He is in. Touchdown, Chiefs. The Chiefs are actually going to go ahead and win this game 21 to 6 over the high. Ale is taking a black of it and bear day. We preview these guys. There are two of these big, big boys looking to make some damage in 2A. Bear day uh, quarterback Kobe Dillon says, you know what, Jesse, I'm going to kill my own dog myself. And for the score. Bear day quarterback Kobe Dillon back at it once again. Finds Damon and Milligan for the touchdown. As he gets past the 10, goes to the 5, and eventually crosses the pay dirt. Blackman quarterback there on offense, Troy Washington with a good carry, but gets hit by Sebastian Turner, and the ball comes oh, loose. Good kiss. Lawrence Stampley recovers for Faraday. Next Faraday drive, Damon Milligan, he just runs this in for the score. Faraday, a big winner, 36-7. to All of them big boys. All right, Union Paris versus Airline. Airline had a good game last week, a good comeback. So we're going to take this thing over the second quarter. Vikings lead. Union's getting on the board. Trent again on a quarterback keeper into the end zone. He's going to cut this lead down to 10 now. Vikings trying to respond. Pass is going to be to complete to Wade. Makes the guy miss, gets a nice game. But Airline would later turn the ball over. Union down in the red zone again. This time again going through the air. Harris making the great grab over the defenders for the score. Man, they're going to take this thing 36 to 12. Airline. Wow, I should bet Trent Ginn's mother the other day. She's a great pharmacist over at CVS here in West Monroe. Go see her. Franklin Parrish and Caldwell. First quarter Caldwell quarterback. Jordan Jerron Townsend hands the ball off to his running back. He would go off to the races in the end zone. Oh. Later on. Top of the second quarter, Caldwell. They're on offense once again. They're looking to outrun Franklin Parrish for the second touchdown of the night. Caldwell goes on a win 28 to 6. All right, Evangela versus Bastrop. So I've been hearing Bastrop is the, the I-20. The, they're just killing things in I-20. So this one, the quarterback tries to find an opening, chucks it to Williams. So close to the end zone, but just couldn't get in. So Bastrop around. It's time to regroup. They're going to really run I-20 is what they've been saying. So time out the first half. Johnson is going to take it upon himself. And so, well, Bastrop, well, still regrouping. So Bastrop with the ball. We're actually regrouping. He's going to take it, keep it, run it up the middle, and, well, he's going to walk that thing in easily. And Bastrop, wow. with a big win. Wow. 2 to 25. Bastrop, I see you. Did be the angel? Yes. Wow. Hey, shout I out see to Cedric Sherrod. His crew getting it done this evening. More teams getting it done. You don't want to miss it. Straight ahead on Football Friday Night Extra right here on Fox 14. At Kettle Brand, we're taking chips to the flavor frontier for the vinegar zings and the Dijon zips. Knowing that traveling far and wide is what keeps our flavors the giants they are. Kettle Brand chips. No small flavors, no small potatoes. Chance price information. Play the field with Saints tickets from the lottery. Man, this TV's lame. Oh. Hey guys, you need a breakthrough with the low payment finder from Cons Home Plus. Good credit or building it, it finds the lowest payment tailored to you. Whoa. Hi, I'm Brandon Moore with Air Service Professionals, your local expert for heating and cooling. Day or night. 365 days a year. Give us a call, and we're on the way. For more information, check us out on myacclimist.com. 
I'm looking for a local attorney, not some slick lawyer from out of town pretending to be local. I see big money flashing on the screen. Is that real? What's the deal? Don't believe everything you see. Every case is different, and I'll fight to get you the money you deserve. I don't want to be pawned off on somebody else where I don't get to see the real attorney. I want a local attorney. We'll personally meet with you and be with you every step of the way. You can count on me because I'm right here with you. And with Creed and Creed, it's personal. An average filter inside your home can catch about 8% of what goes through it. A professional grade filter can catch up to 85% of what goes through it. For more tips, visit our quick tips page at jillysac.com. Football Friday Night Extra, sponsored by Creed and Creed, your local injury attorneys, American Direct Auto in Winsboro, and Gordon McKernan, injury attorneys. Get it done. Just getting too much TV time, dude. I, I really am. I saw it, a, a commercial a few that, minutes ago. That was my twin. That was my twin. Y yeah, whatever. Identical. Dude. Let's talk a little LaSalle, Sicily Island. Thanks to Spencer for going down there to get the video for us. LaSalle, they're in business. So is Sicily Island, coached by Donald Money. LaSalle quarterback Cade Hildestead throws his 68-yard pass over to Ian Williams. Ian Williams goes to the end zone. But Sicily Island still in front, 18-13. to Tigers, Landria James reverses the field. Soon avoids all these defenders. No. Takes its 53 yards for the wow. score. Wow. LaSalle's Hildestead back at it once again. Throws to his left side. But what's this? He is picked off by Keontae Dunbar. Great kick. Yeah, what a grab by Dunbar. LaSalle's Will Smith throws this across the middle to Hildestead for the touchdown. It's 24-19, Sicily Island, and they go on to win 24-19. All righty. So, Carroll plays host to Madison. Carroll are trying to prove their way while they are going to run 3-8 this year. Quarterback said Woods, he's going to hand it off to Goins. Nice game. Woods, then Goins once again. This time for the score. He is going to get around the corner. There's no catching him. Easy wow. score. Carroll is going to easily win this one, 42 to zero. Dell High Charter, the Fort City baby. Flyers at uh, they're taking Loyola. Flyers moving in on their opening possession. Jake Lafitte, that pass complete over his receiver, makes the guy miss, takes this down to the nine yard line. A couple of plays later, Reese Ebarb gets the feed, fights his way to the end zone, but the ball comes out with the elbow oh. hits. But the play continues. Dell High Charter recovers a fumble. Wow. Unbelievable. Let's take a little slow motion action on this. You can see the ball pop out right there when the elbow hits. But, of course, no instant replay in high school football. After a safety, the Flyers back with the football. Going for him, fourth down, but Trenton Jinks there for the sack. But Loyola Prep goes on the win 17 0. Ah, man. Oh, tough, tough loss. All righty. St. Fred is going to host Mangum this evening. So, Ward's possession. Quarterback Alex back to throw downfield. However, it is picked off by Mangum's KC Lou. Oh, man. That was a great, that was a great catch by the way. It's Sue and Drive. Dragons Drive. Uh, Dragons. Quarterback. He's going to fake the handoff. He's going to decide to keep it himself. And why not? Jog it in. He's going to tell the quiet to be quiet. I'm uh -oh. not through yet. Yeah. St. Fred's offense. He's going to step back. Alex is going to step back and pass. And why not? Pass it to Pat. Man, oh, makes a great move. Unfortunately, nothing came out of that drive for St. Fred. Mango is going to go ahead and win us in 20 to 12. My mom is happy. She's a dragon. Is she? Really? Is she with Mango? I did not know that. Peabody and Delta Charter. Delta Charter punts away the football. Thomas Miles, probably the wrong guy to Ooh. give it to. 67 yards for the score. Wow, they are in business early. Peabody on offense once again. They're not just a basketball school, Jess. They can play some football, too. Man. Nice run by quarterback Tyler oh, Miles man. before being hit pretty big by Ty Kell oh, Brooks man. taking it out. Oh, got to stretch it down. Oh, that hurt me. <laughs> Last play before the half, quarterback Miles breaks several tackles, breaking ankles as well, and takes this in for the score. Again, Peabody not just a basketball school. They win 36-12. No, this is going to be Red River and Arcadia. So the Arcadia Hornets are going to face off the Red River Bulldogs this evening. The start of the game, neck and neck between the two teams. As fans and students both on the sides cheer their schools on. We saw Red River quarterback back, book it with the ball across the field. He made
makes it quite a few yards before Arcata gets him down. So, next possession, well, will you look at this. Run up the middle, hit the sideline, and why not? Good yard. So, we're going to cut this thing short. And first big play, tough. And, well, you know, touchdown, yeah. Arcadia. So, they're going to put the points on the board, but Red River is going to go on to win this one, 40 to 8. John Bach from the good front coach is Red River. Congrats to him. And also, Demetri Carr, they're going to get it going soon. Let's talk a little Winfield looking prep over at the hole. Eddie Robinson Stadium in battle, the big cats. The Winfield Tigers hosting them this evening. School spirit undeniably high with band music blaring and cheerleaders picking up the crowd. Looking for up Chance Robinson. He's a basketball player and a pretty good football player as well. Making a solid pass over to his tight end, Isaiah Gray. And Gray taking that ball and charging through a few yards before being tackled by Winfield's Brandon Florence. Lincoln Preps, Jatavian Tatum launching the ball. Mm. Towards Deontay Johnson with the two Winfield Lions swoop in to steal the ball. That's when Winfield's Jake Lashley runs it in for the touchdown. A well-fought contest by both teams, but Winfield dominated in the first half, and Winfield goes on the win 54-13. to mm. Darvon Wilson, so Brock Jenkins from Beekman Charter is going to take the handoff, and he's going to carry 20 yards. So, here comes Brock Jenkins again. Sends it to Cole Honeycutt, number nine. And he is going to take this one. Well, what do you know? In the end zone. Touchdown. Great catch. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all are spinning. Oh, I would have been dizzy about oh, that. Yeah. Great crowd out there tonight. Uh, yes. About their ball was in Beekman Charter. Uh, great fans. As you see, it was hot. Absolutely. We, we really want you to see the fans. <laughs> So, next possession, Beekman Charter, next possession. He's going to take this thing up the middle, and he is hit pretty hard. Next play, we're going to do a little bit of play action. Why not? We're going to take it up the middle again. But Beekman Charter is going to win 13 to 6. Man, shout out to them. Yeah, you know, I, I really like Joey Lee and company. I saw their coaches the other day. Great group of guys. They're Beekman's going to get it done. Playing independent this year, but they, you know what? They're really set for some big things. Built that junior high program up as well. Hey, speaking of building things up, we're going to build up the rest of the show. Show for you more highlights straight ahead of Fox 14. Governor John Bell Edwards is releasing the state's unemployment report, and the results show Louisiana has made huge progress. The lowest unemployment rate in 11 years. One of the biggest economic development announcements in state history. More than $2.5 billion. 2,000 new jobs. $250 million facility. 600 construction jobs. CenturyLink is staying put. Thousands of jobs in the future. Governor Edwards, as the past year, shows the highest GDP and personal income in our state's history. Severe weather can hit at any time of day or night. Be safe and prepared with the KTVE KARD weather app for Apple and Android. Brought to you by Sam Henry, the bankruptcy attorney. If you don't have life insurance, a final expense insurance plan pays cash to your family for final and all other expenses. If you're unable to purchase life insurance due to a pre-existing or current medical condition, call right now for information and a free consultation. Rates will never increase, the policy cannot be canceled, and there are no restrictions on how your beneficiaries can use the money. Call 1-800-304-7014. 1-800-304-7014. Week 2 doesn't get much bigger than this. One, two, three. NFC East rivals collide as Zeke leads the Cowboys against the Redskins. Then, in America's Game of the Week, it's the game everyone's been waiting for. Just wait for each other. As Drew Brees and the Saints battle Gurley and the Rams Touchdown. in an NFC Championship rematch. It's a huge Week 2 doubleheader next Sunday on Fox and the Fox Sports app. Get to know the candidates for State Senate District 35. See them debate the issues that matter to you September 16th at 9.30 on Fox 14, your local election headquarters. Brought to you by Creed and Creed, your local injury attorneys. Football Friday Night Extra, sponsored by Creed and Creed, your local injury attorneys, American Direct Auto in Winsboro, and Gordon McKernan, injury attorneys. Get it done. More football Friday night for you. Let's go straight to Arkansas. El Dorado taking on Cabot. A big night for both of these schools, and they were waiting for each other since pretty much a year ago. This pass from El Dorado's quarterback to receiver 
the Cairo row for the touchdown in a seven nothing real quick line. Oh man, looks like he looks, looks like the young Jesse Davis out there. Graham Turner from El Dorado. I'm sorry for Cabot. Rushes this thing into the end zone. It's a 14 nothing ball game. Later on, Charmin Ruster. Big touchdown run for El Dorado. Says, you know what? Let's make things a little bit interesting. Charmin Ruster, ladies and gentlemen, once again takes it. Decides to keep it himself. Oh, oh. Runs past a boatload of defenders and in the end zone for the TD. Big TD run once again. Rester later on in the ball game. This pass goes to Devontae Kidd. And Devontae Kidd would do Devontae Kidd things. Rester back at it. Throw to Kidd. Up the middle. Right there. Makes a catch. Wrong not up at 14. Cabot goes to the win 35 14. Stuttgart versus Warren. Sorry, the Lumberjacks are playing at home against Stuttgart. The Ricebergs. The Ricebergs. Wow. Mm. Take a look at the first play of this drive from the Lumberjacks. Quarterback Riley's going to hand it off to the running back. Steppers, he fumbles the ball. So Ricebergs going to take over after that turnover, but can't convert. The Lumberjacks get the ball back on their own 22. Man, good run. Hey. Okay. Hey. Okay. <laughs> so, next up, uh, soon possession. Also, you're going to try this thing again. He's going to pass it. It's going to be complete to the running back who gets the first down. So, we're going to take this thing over to the very next play. So, why not? All right. Once again, he's back in shotgun. Hands it off back to his running back. Why not? Who's going to? Pretty smart. Stay behind your blocker. Stay in the end. Oh, he dove in the end zone. Way to oh, stay in wow. bounds on that one. Man, I wish I still had that. Those moves. Man, yeah. those ankles. You have those moves. I saw, I saw your highlights. <laughs> Warren is going to win 67 or 62, 27. My apologies. Good game going and cross it. Coming out of the second half with the White Ball Bulldogs playing at cross it. Quarterback Matthew Martinez fakes it and hands it off over to Cam Robinson. He goes all the way untouched. Untouched for the touchdown. Cross it. Defensive coach is not happy, and I don't think they would be with that drive. And talks out the players while the offense steps on the field. Now it's cross it's turn to make a play. Quarterback Justin Stokes tosses over to Willie Taylor for a nice run and nice gain on that play. Now moving on, a couple of plays later, Stokes decides to throw the ball and finds Jackson Moore. This guy was hustling all night long. Jackson Moore, ladies and gentlemen, really hard run after the catch, pick up some extra yardage. And later on in that drive, I guess he's knocked down and run around the 22. Later on in that drive, Crossing gets a holding call that takes him back a few yards. But here they are again with Stokes throwing the ball. This time to his wide receiver, Carlos Williams. The defense can't stop this guy. He's in for the touchdown. Whitehall goes on to, to uh, defeat Cross at 28-24. Hey, we got more football for you. Don't go anywhere yet. A couple games you may have missed last night, Rayville versus Oak Grove, and uh, more for you right here on Football Friday Night on Fox Sports. CashNetUSA.com, man. I help when money's tight. If approved, you may get the money you need as soon as tomorrow. Ha, ha. Apply now at CashNetUSA.com. Money's on the way with CashNet USA. For the latest news on farming and energy that affects us right here at home, watch the Ag Energy Report. The Ag and Energy Report, weekdays at 7 on Fox 14, your morning news. Sponsored by Goldman Equipment. Be informed. Download the all-new KTVE KARD weather app and get the six-minute advantage in weather tracking. That means weather alerts in real time down to the street where you live. Available free for iOS and Android. Brought to you by Sam Henry, the bankruptcy attorney. Election day is fast approaching and Louisiana has a choice to make. Watch the first debate between Edwards, Abram, and Responi. Thursday, September 19th at 7 on NBC10. Sponsored locally by Creed and Creed, your local injury attorneys. Our pilots come from all walks of life. They're doctors, lawyers, farmers, coming together for the common good of all of our patients going to specialized treatment facilities. We have plenty of patients. We're looking for pilots willing to transport patients. Our pilots fly any types of equipment from 172 single engine Cessnas through jets. We try to make a difference in people's lives. And right now we're flying 15 to 25 missions a week. We feel like we have a great opportunity to help a lot more of our friends and neighbors. 
I want you to remember something, okay? We're the same. We're afraid you might suffer from certain psychotic inclinations, like your father's. There's so much I can teach you about murder. I became a profiler and hunted down people like him. You think like the killer? <laughs> it's a kind of genius. That'd be crazy. My boy. Prodigal Son premieres September 23rd on Fox. Fall Friday Night Extra, sponsored by Creed and Creed, your local injury attorneys, American Direct Auto in Winsboro, and Gordon McKernan, injury attorneys. Get it done. Some action from last night, Ravel at Oak Grove. Both teams coming off tough losses in week one. New turf in Tiger Stadium. The press box, by the way, named in honor of Tiger supporter Ivy Robinson. Scoreless in the first half, Oak Grove quarterback Brayton Sullivan decides to keep it himself. He is thrown out of bounds at the eight-yard line. Moments later, Sullivan spots an open Dalton Allen. Look at that one-handed oh. catch right there oh, for the oh. touchdown. They're up 6 nothing and fall in a two-point try. They fail two-point try. It is 6 nothing. Rabel goes to the win, 46-32. By the way, Waspin gets a big 49-0 victory over Magnolia Charter. More scores for you going to break. other banks. They act like it's theirs. This is money at Homeland Bank. We know it's yours. We take great care of your money. With competitive interest rates on CDs, money market, and savings accounts, we help it grow. We put it to work here in our community to help you start a new business or buy a new house. Real customer service and attention to detail like banking used to be. We're Homeland Bank, your local bank. Where's your money? On average, 35 children die each year from being left in unattended vehicles. Stop, look before you lock, and help save precious lives like this one. Brought to you locally by Gordon McKernan. Injury attorneys, get it done. Attention all ULM students and alumni. Here's your opportunity to meet with top recruiters all under one roof at the ULM Fall Career Fair. Wednesday, September 25th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the Bayou Point Event Center. Brought to you by these fine sponsors. doctor used his own DNA to father countless children. I stacked the deck. You did terrible harm. So show me family. I can't believe it's not just me anymore. We're genetically connected. Family. Finding a new family is the best thing that's happened to me in years. You're welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Thank you. Yeah, I already called the guest room, so you're on the couch. Almost Family, October 2nd on Fox. The Arklemis is a great place to relax and spend time with family, but on the weekdays, many parents have to hit the ground running early just to fit it all in. So when they get home, they're not looking to stay up late. That's why many choose Fox 14 News at 9, because we offer an earlier choice for late night local news, and we're the only area station that does. Fox 14 News at 9 with Sarah Scarlett, Chief Meteorologist Jared Floyd, and Sports with Chris Demersion and Spencer Tillis. The right news at the right time. Football Friday Night Extra, sponsored by Creed and Creed, your local injury attorneys, American Direct Auto in Winsboro, and Gordon McKernan, injury attorneys. Get it done. Real quick, collegially, got some college football for you. Louisiana Tech takes on Bowling Green tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Northwestern State at LSU. Colorado State at Arkansas tomorrow at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Oklahoma Baptist at SAU tomorrow night at 6. And UAM, Arkansas Monticello versus Harding at 6. We'll have you completely covered with Spencer Tillis this weekend at 6 and 10 right here on our sister station, KTVE. Before we wrap, Jesse, as another week down, another yes. week to go, we'll yes. do it again next Friday night. Our main man, Spencer Tillis, put together all the highlights yes. to a little bit of music. We'll talk to you next Friday night at 11 o'clock for Football Ooh. Friday Night Extra on Fox 14. <laughs>